Using streams, we can process the data in a declarative manner, very similar to that of SQL, Structured Query Language, which is used against a database. It makes it very easy for us to process the data or objects inside a collection. These streams are not the same as java.io streams, which are meant for reading and writing files. Stream is an interface in the java.util.stream package. We can get a stream on a collection by invoking the stream method, which was introduced or which was added to the collection interface in Java 1.8. Once we have a stream to process the collection, we will do it in two steps or two phases. The first phase is configuring the stream. We can do the configuration in two ways, filtering, wherein we invoke the filter method, pass it a predicate, which will be, a, which will evaluate into a Boolean expression as you know what a predicate is. And the objects in the collection will be filtered out based on the predicate and it will return the stream which will have the filtered out objects. The second way of configuring is using a map method. The map method on the stream again returns a stream but this time it doesn't take a boolean expression but it takes a function instead. It will create a new collection or a new object for every object in the collection. So if you want, if you have a requirement wherein you want to create a new set of objects, a new set of collection based on the input, then you will use a map. It will map each input to a corresponding output object. If you simply want to filter, you use the filter method. You will see all these in action in the next few lectures. The second step is to process the data itself. The stream API provides various methods such as collect, count, sorted, min, max, etc. to process the data. So in the next few lectures, you are going to first configure the streams and then process the data.